Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to read you a book named Starting School, A Peter Rabbit Tale. So let's begin. Please can I go to the forest school? Peter asked Mrs. Rabbit, running into the burrow. First school was Jeremy Fisher's idea. He would teach the young animals all about the world around them. Mrs. Rabbit laughed. Of course you can, my darling. It sounds like great fun. I wonder what you should take. Peter started to thinking of everything he might need. Boots for walking in puddles. A new pencil for drawing pictures. His favorite bag to carry everything he might find. And most importantly, a packed lunch. Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail will need all that too, added Peter. Oh no, Peter, said his mother. Your sisters are too little to go to forest school. It's just for big bunnies like you. Peter's whiskers dropped. He didn't want to go without his sisters. He dropped his bag and ran outside. Mrs. Rabbit followed him. I don't want to go to my school on my own, Peter said sadly. Oh, little one, Mrs. Rabbit said. You won't be on your own. Benjamin will be there. But I won't know what to do, cried Peter. Mrs. Rabbit reminded him that everyone would be new and Mr. Fisher would help them all. Peter felt a little bit better. The little rabbit had lots of questions though. Can I sit next to Benjamin? Will we be allowed to talk? What if I don't know the answer? Will there be snacks? Mrs. Rabbit smiled and led Peter back inside. Don't worry, you'll be fine, said Mrs. Rabbit. Back in the burrow, Peter's sister had a surprise. They had decorated his bag for him. They even had added their favorite toys to keep him company at school. Peter felt much better and slept that night without a worry. The next morning, Peter felt nervous again. He held on tight to Mrs. Rabbit's paw. Hello, Peter. Welcome to Fire School, called Germany. We're going to call Germany. We're going to count minnows today. Peter didn't think he wanted to do that. Just then he heard someone call his name. It was Benjamin. He was pointing at the lily pad next to him. Peter smiled. Perhaps counting minnows could be fun. After school, Peter ran into the burrow. He had missed his sisters and wanted to tell them all about his day. He knew that even if Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail were not at school, they would always be there for him when he got home. The end. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this story, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Bye.